An uncertain future for many minor league baseball teams, including the one that is called Billings Home for over seven decades. It would certainly be a bummer for baseball fans, but what would it mean for the city of Billings if baseball goes through with a restructuring proposal that could make the Pioneer League a thing of the past? Well, Major League Baseball's current agreement with minor league teams expires in 2020. After that, it's anyone's guess what the future holds for minor league baseball. Q2's Mitch Leggy tells us what's next for the city of Billings and the Mustangs home field or Dealer Park if 2020 turns out to be the last season of pro baseball in Billings. Billings Mustangs superfan Billy Ellis has been at every opening Mustangs game 25 years and running. He remembers the rain-soaked final game at Cobb Field 12 years ago. It was just a weird way to say goodbye to that stadium, and now, not even 11 years now, we're going to say goodbye to the whole team. Ugh. The crack of the bat, winning moments, and a summer evening spent under the lights of pro baseball in Montana may soon be coming to an end. Top baseball leadership want to restructure how players are brought up into the majors, proposing to cut 40 of the 160 minor league baseball teams across the country. The entire Pioneer League is on the chopping block, which means the Missoula Paddleheads, Great Falls Voyagers, and the Billings Mustangs may be no more after the league's agreement expires at the end of the 2020 season. Now, cutting 40 minor league teams would cut costs for the organization, allowing it to lower the amount of money subsidized to minor league teams. And change team locations to make travel more efficient. Well, here at Dealer Park in Billings, not all is necessarily lost if the Mustangs don't return. MSUB and American Legion teams, the Billings Scarlets and the Billings Royals will still play here. But that means a loss of 40 games per season at Dealer Park, as well as the loss of the $60,000 that the Mustangs pay to the city to play here. But the Billings city government and Mustangs owner, Dave Heller, want to keep the ponies playing in the Magic City. I don't believe there's any minor league owner who is more engaged in this conversation than he is. And so that, I think, works to, to our favor as well, because this is not, we're not being just kind of brushed to the side as some small you know, market in, in Montana. So if the Mustangs end up leaving Billings, where does that leave the city government? The city owns the ballpark. It was built in 2008 with $12.5 million of voter-approved bond money. The city will complete payment on those bonds by 2028. There's no risk that uh, we're not dependent on ticket sales or attendance to pay for um, the facility itself. Kokolsky said the city has been approached by a currently playing college tournament to bring its competition to Billings, but a handful of tournament games does not make up for the 40 that would be lost if the Mustangs left meaning the city would have to find other events to bring to people at dealer. The elimination of 40 minor league baseball teams across the country has drawn attention from Congress. A group of D.C. legislators, including Montana Representative Greg Gianforte, wrote a letter to Major League Baseball urging them to rethink their proposal. In a statement to MTN News Wednesday, Gianforte wrote in part, Montana's minor league baseball teams contribute to the fabric of our communities, support local businesses, and provide a place for families to pass along America's pastime to their kids. I hope Major League Baseball will reconsider its decision. City staff heard from the Mustangs owner Wednesday that members of the MLB and minor league teams are meeting on Thursday to work through the current proposal. Until a decision is reached, the future of minor league baseball in Montana and nationwide hangs in the balance. In Billings, Mitch Laggy, MTN News. And thanks, Mitch. And later in sports, we're going to hear from Scott and Mustangs managing partner Dave Heller about how he feels about the situation.